Good morning. It is Saturday. It's six o'clock. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Uh, Daryl and I are going to do some mowing this morning and then I'm going to have some errands to run. I'm going to take you guys along. It's going to be more of a day in the life type video. Um, I did fall behind on some shout outs here. I needed to catch up. So first of all, I wanted to say hello to Jorge this morning. Jorge says hello to everybody, the whole Victory family. And uh, he's been watching the channel, really enjoys it. Thank you, Jorge. Second of all, uh, we have Andrew Wise from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You can thank your wife for that shout out. <laughs> uh, then I have another one. Uh, this is Paul from Value Sellers. Um, I just uh, received a package in the mail. He had sent me this clock, which is pretty cool. A Victory Outdoor Services clock. Uh, thank you very much, Paul, for taking the time to do that. That's awesome, man. I hope you have a great day as well. Uh, then we have, uh, as you can see on my hat, Design Concrete and Masonry LLC. Uh, they're from Port St. Lucie, Florida. So thank you, David Cook and family. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time to write me a letter and package this stuff up and send it to me. That means a lot. That keeps me motivated. It uh, keeps me encouraged when you guys send me stuff like this. It's awesome. It just keeps me going. And then Leroy Dennis, U.S. Navy retired, who served on the USS Shenandoah and whose son was chief engineer on the USS Fort Worth. Thank you very much for sending me out these challenge coins. Um, I know these meant something to you, and uh, that automatically means that they're going to be special to me. So first of all, thank you for your service, and then thank you for uh, the gift. I really appreciate that. So, all right, I got to head off to work. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. How are you? Good. I hope there's I hope there's house blend. <laughs> oh no way! That is your tenth time, Jewel. That's ten, that's the tenth time. Now I gotta have the plaque made. We were talking about. Ay ay ay. So that's your. Oh, there's no house blend. We're it Sorry. Sorry. That's why I'm giving her a hard time. I'll just I'll just stand here and wait for it. Good thing I'm early. Otherwise I'd be very angry. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good See day. Yep. Hey, Alright, just pulled into the yard and waiting on Daryl. When I pulled in, I noticed this uh, attachment sitting on the back of my pickup truck. I have no idea how it got there. It is not mine. But I'm figuring Daryl had something to do with this. All right, Daryl's calling me. He's probably late. Let's see. Hello? Yeah, I'll know you call. Yeah, where are you at? I would be there in like two minutes. And what is this attachment that magically got on the back of my truck? Morning. Morning, sunshine. It's about time you showed up. It's 7.05. 7. Yeah, right. I just ate, man. Did you? Oh, you I get? can't eat anymore. I'm trying to go on a diet, man. Yeah, right. I really am. Look how big I am. <laughs> Super fat. You're not fat. I might go kickbox today. Really? Just to start things out right. You know what I'm saying? You can just go to the gas station on Lily and shoot right up Lily. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. We're going to go do some mowing. So that attachment Daryl got, he rented it. He's going to do a landscape side job this afternoon. And uh, he's going to rent my dump truck and skid steer. Um, I'm okay with that. I told you guys that this week. I'm okay with side jobs as long as they don't interfere with what I got going on and the guys don't lose their focus. I'm okay with that. All right, we just pulled up to the first spot. This area here in this cul-de-sac, we need to mow. And then down there, that pond, that's the pond that a few videos ago, Daryl drove the mower right into the pond and we towed it back out. So Daryl should be pulling up here in just a minute. There he is. Finally, the grass is kind of wet. Right. But co just come here and trim and blow this, and then head over there. Right. And then it'll probably you'll probably do the house after this, and then the strip by the entrance after that.
All right, so I just finished up this cul-de-sac. Did get a little bit of clumping here and there, but I'm not really that concerned about it. It doesn't look that bad. And honestly, this is just a, you know, it's a median and a cul-de-sac. So it's not really that important like a residential would be. So Daryl's gonna come back. He's gonna trim all this. He'll blow it all off. He'll blow the clippings out of the mulch beds. I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'll take you guys along. All right, so for the next one, I'm actually gonna take the stander uh, because there are obstacles. And the nice thing about the stander is I have this uh, grass flap, which is very helpful. You could see when I was mowing with the sit down, since it doesn't have a grass flap, I was blowing and discharging grass clippings into the mulch beds. That just adds another extra step because now you gotta go blow, go blow all those off. So I'm gonna take the stander and then we'll go on to the next one. All right, so this is the next spot that I do. This is an entrance to a neighborhood. Uh, I mow for a neighborhood association though, so there's several areas that are spread out all through this subdivision. This is the main entrance, or I should say one of the entrances. So I do both sides of this entrance and then I go down this street. Sorry, there's some cars coming through here. This is a pretty busy street. And then I go down and do this strip on either side of the sidewalk for a long, 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 long ways. You can't even see the end of where I have to go to. Alright, so I finished that whole strip all the way down. Daryl's falling behind me. I don't know where he is, but he needs to trim and blow all this. I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, it's actually a house right down the street. It's the only residential that I do. I actually mowed this one uh, on camera uh, a couple weeks ago, I think it was, but I got to hit this one again too. All right, this residential is done. Uh, turned out good. There's a tiny bit of clumping here and there, but overall it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna head off onto the next one. Uh, I gotta go in an hour. I'm in a big rush. Why don't you jump on that mower and we'll go knock out the big huge pond together. Okay. And then when we finish, I gotta go and then you can finish trimming and blowing all the stuff I just mentioned. Okay. And then that's it. My wife just texted me that she wants to go out for ice cream after the kids go to bed. All right. That's good news. So this pond here, I'm not going to go all the way back, but it goes all the way around the corner. And there's a, a lot more back there, but I got to stop because I got to start mowing because I'm running out of time. So I don't have time to drive back there and show you and come back. So I'm going to set up the camera right here, put it in time lapse, and then I'm gonna we're going to go ahead and mow this area here. All right, let's do it.
in a dangerous spot right now, man. You're in a dangerous spot because if you roll backwards, you'll flip the mower over backwards. I did it once, trust me. You never come up to these culverts like this. And this is way too steep for you, look at this. You know, right in the rocks, that's where, that's where people get hurt and killed. You gotta be careful on these, man. Yeah, this is a bad spot. I can feel it right now. What I just explained to Daryl about these culverts, I actually did that once. And when he was there, that made me nervous because it was about five years ago. It wasn't here, it wasn't at this location, but I was mowing another place that had something very similar to this. And it had, uh, it had trees like kind of lining here, but there was plenty of room for a mower, but it was pretty steep. It was just like this. And I actually drove the mower figuring, oh, I'll just zip through there real quick. And what happened is right about, right about there, the, uh, the mower started to slide out. So the rear end went down like that and it slid down and it actually went right off the culvert with me sitting on it and the whole machine tipped all the way over like this and I landed down here and it was, it was rocks just like this and I was standing straight up like this and the mower stopped standing straight up. Uh, that was the most, uh, that was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me on a mower. So that was a wake up call. So Daryl hasn't had a wake up call like that before. So I'm trying to tell him to be careful. All right, so this area is done. It's a lot steeper than it looks on camera. And I know some of you will be like, oh, your stripes ain't straight, it's crooked. It's pretty steep, man. Honestly, I really don't care about the stripes at this point with this pond. Uh, I guess if I'm not fishing a mower out of the pond, I consider that a win. So we knocked it down, we got it done, and we're gonna move on. Well, he didn't slide into the pond and he didn't die by the outcropping, so I guess we did all right. By the what? By that rock outcropping? Oh, yeah. You were in a dangerous position, man. I, you gotta, you gotta like, uh, see, you've never almost died like I did when I flipped off the culver wall years ago. Yeah, once mean, you're, once you almost get killed on a mower, you have a lot more respect for the hills. That's I why I have two mowers. That's why the stander is for the hills. You stay off the hills with that one. I mean, you can go on hills to a point, but you gotta be careful, man. Mowers, mowers are very dangerous. A lot of people get killed every year on mowers. Really All right, so Daryl's gonna finish up some of the trimming and blowing. Uh, I'm out here, I got stuff to go do. All right, so I just stopped at the house. I'm gonna take Joanna. She's gonna be my camera girl. You guys have met her before, but I'm gonna take her out to lunch. And I'm also gonna take her uh, to a gym that I used to go to many years ago. So I mentioned, I think in one other video uh, quite a while ago that I used to kickbox, but that was a long time ago. I haven't thrown a punch in over 10 years, <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go hit the heavy bags. Uh, the doctor told me that I need to start losing weight, um, and I don't know, sometimes it just takes that one time going to the gym to kind of get it back into your system and uh, kind of get you in a pattern, get you in the groove to start going to the gym. Hi. <laughs> What's so funny? You camera shy? No. Oh, okay. Hi, Daniel. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Give me five. Yeah. Is Joanna busy today? Yeah. They have to clean their whole bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All day? Well, Hi, ready. sweetie. Ready to Whoa. Whoa. All the balls out of the ball can. I see that. So there's a ton of balls right now on the camera. Great. Chris, come by here. Give me a huggy boogie. Give me a huggy. Yeah. Are you playing with your ball so nice? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hi. Double high fives. Hi. You want to do it too? You want to do it too? Yay! Yay! You did it. 
I do it slappy hard than you. You're stronger than Grace. So Joanna's hurrying up. She's gonna come with me. I need a camera, girl. For what? I'm gonna go kickboxing. What? Are you yes. serious? Don't hurt yourself. Uh, no, I'm not sparring. I'm just gonna hit the bags. All right, I think I know where my old stuff is, but it has been a long, long time. Buried down there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Those stink. Wow. Yes. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. You gonna run the camera perfectly? Yep. Okay. Joanna's back. Back in the camera business. I haven't been here for 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, like pretty much. Well, it was a little less than that because I remember I remember being here after you were born. Adrian Serrano Combat Sports Gym. We're on Silver Spring and Lover's Lane in Milwaukee. Go ahead. How's it going? How's it going, man? It's been like, what, five, six, seven years? Dude, I haven't been here for a decade. It's been a long time. I'm super big, super out of shape now. <laughs> I literally haven't done any cardiovascular exercise since last winter. You been training at uh, other gyms at all, or? Uh... Me training? Man, did you see what I look like? I haven't been training anything. I've been training eating. That's it. What I remember, you were pretty good. Uh, I was pretty good, but that was a decade ago. I don't even think I could kick you in the shin right now. Right. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm 44 years old. I got no business being in this gym. I don't. But doctor told me I got to lose weight. And I was like, man, if I go up there, maybe it'll spark some interest to like get back in shape. Wouldn't this be fun to play with all your friends on this big mat? You guys could do anything here. I still feel relatively flexible. I just know I don't have any wind. Yeah, I feel like... Uh... For being 44, I, I should say. That was a good start. So something is something. I'm gonna get dressed and me and Joanna are gonna go to lunch. Burned a lot of calories in there. I think I need to go get some lunch now. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so me and Joanna are at B52s again, our favorite restaurant. So I did wanna mention, um, you know, taking your kids places. It's good to take them out and go to dinner and stuff, but, uh, I guess my goal when I take my kids out is to make a memory. And what I mean by that is, uh, you guys saw what I did with Daniel last weekend and then taking Joanna to the gym, she'll never forget that. That was an experience she'll never forget. Uh, you know, I made a memory for her. So when she grows... What, you wanna be on the channel? Sure. All right. I was just videoing right now. I gathered that. Yes. We're doing another day in the life. Yay. What's your name? You're actually going to be doing our driveway. Am I? Oh, are you? 
eventually I, we signed the quote. You're ho hopefully get you in, in this year yet. Otherwise, are you Mike's? Yep. Mike's wife. Yep. And oh Stephen yeah. Stephen used to work here. Yes. Yes. yes I remember. Yeah. Now make sure Stephen watches this now. I will. He'll be like, "That's my mom. <laughs> That's my mom." All right. Well, have a great day. You rock. Thank All you. right. Thank you. <clears throat> that was fun. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, making a memory. Just give them something that, you know, when they're a grandparent, they'll remember and they'll tell the story to their grandchildren. So, well, me and Joanne are going to have, go have some lunch now. I'll see you guys inside. Man, I know you play football. No. Basketball? No. No. <laughs> you play no sports? No, ping pong. Yeah, ping pong. Yeah, yeah. I played with the Chinese. In the Olympics. Oh, then you? No, no, I'm just kidding. Man. <laughs> you have hey. you had me going. <laughs> Thank you for your service, man. Hey. I, hey. I appreciate all you guys. How's it going? How are we doing? How come you're in a bad mood? Cheer up, man. Yeah, I see, I see, I see you smile now. There we go. Now we're talking. You just started? Don't worry about it. Take, take your time. We're not in a rush. Don't feel pressure for me. Oh, I got a salad because I'm on a diet now. Now I should drink diet soda or water. I think I'm just gonna have water. You were in the Navy, huh? Yes. Yeah. I was in from 73 to uh, 77, and I had been in two years. Cause I was going to Vietnam. Yes. Uh, you gonna get drafted? I'm going. Right. My, my lottery number came up. I said, you guys are crazy. I said, Marines are crazy. Anyway. <laughs> so I went. To I was supposed to do two years in Norfolk and two years in Honolulu, Hawaii. How's school going? Good. What's your favorite subject? Please don't say recess like Daniel said. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> um, probably history. You like history? Who's your teacher for history? history? Oh, good. Well, that's good. History's good. I can't even remember what happened yesterday, though, so. <laughs> What kind of ice cream did you get? Chocolate with Oreos? Yeah. Mmm. You... All right, was that fun? Yep. Oh, you got ice cream. <laughs> All right, we're home. I'm dropping Joanna off, and uh, I'm actually going back up to the yard. In just a few minutes, I'm meeting a guy that's interested in uh, buying the landscape portion of my business. So I'm gonna head back up there, and then I got some other plans for tonight as well. So I'm going to head up to the, to the yard and uh, talk to this guy. We're going to spend a couple hours together because apparently he's pretty serious. And then uh, and then I'm going to be back here. I'm not going to video that. That's, that's business. So uh, we'll keep that separate from the video. But I will see you guys uh, after that. All right, you guys. It is 8 o'clock. Uh, the meeting with the guy that's interested in the landscape portion of my business went very, very well. Uh, he's very serious. I'm 99% sure he's going to buy it which is gonna be awesome for me just to free up some of my time and take some of the pressure off of me. Uh, he actually brought a down payment, but uh, I didn't take it because I still have to work out some details, but it looks like that's gonna go through. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, so Joanna and me, we had a good day. Uh, my day's not quite over, as I mentioned before. It's eight o'clock now, the kids are gonna go to bed soon, and uh, my wife and I are gonna go have ice cream together. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know in the comments section uh, if you'd like me to keep making these style videos like once a week on the weekends. I enjoy it. It's just uh, it's just part of what I do. It's you know it's just part of my life and kind of just letting you in on a different portion of my life other than work. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a great remainder of your weekend, and I'll see you guys Monday morning when we get back to work.